Spice fam, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you how I make corn pie. Please excuse the loud noise in my video today simply because I actually filmed early in the morning and someone was walking the yard. So without further ado, let us get into this video. Also don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, put on your post notification bell so you don't miss each time we do an upload. Let's go! To make our corn pie here I have some cayenne pepper and some salt also black pepper or white pepper can be used I have here some pimento peppers garlic a stick of butter I have here some onion sweet pepper egg here we have some evaporated milk the cornmeal I have here some water as I am using frozen corn and I have my frozen corn here defrosted. All right, so let's get into this video. Next, we are going to wash these and peel them and cut them up. Here are the seasonings all done. I tried my best to ensure that I did uh, chop them up a little bit small and I, last minute I decided to add in some green onions, alright? So this is what they all look like. Now let's move on to the next step. Because I'm using frozen corn in this recipe, I don't have any uh, water from the corn. So I'm using regular water and to my water I'm just going to add in my egg. And we are going to beat it well. So I beat it until it's well combined, just like this. And next we are going in with the pepper and the salt. Remember I said that black pepper or white pepper can be used. Give it a good mix, just to make sure that it's well combined in there. And this is what the mixture looks like so far. Now that we have mixed in the eggs and everything together, we are next going to go in with our cornmeal. And then you want to mix it into a smooth paste. Make sure that there aren't any lumps. I'm seeing a little bit of that there. This is what our paste is looking like. So it's a very smooth paste that is watery. So we are going to set that aside and then move on. Here I have my stick of butter or margarine. Actually, this is margarine. And this is a half cup or four ounces. And I need just quarter cup of this. So quarter cup would be around two ounces. All right, so I'm just going to use half of this to get me the quarter cup. So I just put my stove on medium heat and I'm just going to add in the margarine to melt. Once it's melted, I will come back to show you the next step. Now that the margarine is melted, we're going to add in our seasonings. Mix it around really well and allow it to saute for a couple minutes. Also, I would love for you to comment below, let us know how you make your corn pie. So we're going to allow it to saute for a couple minutes and I'll come back. So this is what our sauteed seasonings look like. Next we're going to add in our milk and we are going to bring that to a boil. I'm adding in the milk and I'm just going to stir it around until everything is well combined together just like that 
and then we are going to allow it to come to a boil and I will come back to show you the next step. Our mixture, our milk mixture is boiling and here I have the corn paste mixture and what I'm doing, I'm just simply just uh, stirring it to loosen it up because some of the corn will settle to the bottom. And what we are going to do is to pour it in and then stir as we are pouring it in as you don't want any lumps. Just like that, oops. Then stir it. And then next we are going to add in the peas in a bit, but that's just uh, for a few minutes. One thing I forgot to mention is that you are to stir it on low heat, y'all. You don't want it to burn, you don't want it to cook too fast. All right, you want to stir it on low heat. So, yeah. All right, so next we're gonna add in our corn. I'm adding that in right now. Oops, I just saw. Right. Add it in and stir it in just like that. See here. Mm -hmm. and that's the kind of paste that you are looking for. Right, just make sure that everything is well combined together. And voila! As you can see, it has already started to move away from the pan. That is your cue that it is ready to come off the heat, all right? So pay close attention to it. So it's starting to come off, come off the pan really well. So I'm just going to do it for a couple more minutes and I'll come back to show you the next step. Y'all, you know, this is what it looks like. It's pasty, yeah? consistency all right so next we're going to add it into a greased bowl or cooking dish baking dish actually you want to make sure that you grease your bowl so that it doesn't stick to the dish when it's baking all right so we are just going to put all of that in there and we are just going to smooth it across the plate or the dish like that just using the back of a spoon just like that get a nice smooth paste there all right you can always even it out with a spatula or something. so here is our cornmeal mixture next we are going to place it into a preheated oven at 350 degrees for roughly 20 minutes or about i will leave a link in the description box below with all the ingredients, the cooking time, and all of that. So let's go ahead and place this to cook, to bake, sorry. All right, so this is what our corn pie looks. And of course, to get it more decorative, you wanna ensure that you have plenty of red, red, a mix of red and green bell peppers. All right, so this is what it looks like. We will allow it to cool and then we will come back and cut. Guys, okay, so this is, oh, hold on y'all. I apologize for this loud sound. Somebody is mowing the lawn this morning. Yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, so this is the corn pie and we are now going to slice it so that you guys can see what it looks like. Now you want to make sure that you um, allow it to cool completely before you actually cut it or else it will not come out like this all right so this is what the corn pie looks like i just want you guys to see so this is it can i cut off this here but this is what the corn pie looks like perfect for your sunday lunch and so forth so let me just plate it and then i will come back okay so this is our corn pie and I really do hope you'd have enjoyed this recipe. Let me just give you a closer look. As you can see, bits and pieces of the peppers and so forth in there. So I really do hope you'd have enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like, give us a comment, let us know what you think, and also thumbs up and share the video. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.